Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Memes of the Week. If you want to catch the latest Memes of the Week videos, then subscribe to me over at MGTOW TV. Link is in the description. Plus, you'll get content from people like Turd Flinging Monkey and Terrence Pop, just to name a few on the platform too. Also, before I get on with the memes, first a word from today's sponsor, Profit Specialist Group. Why let some woman use her points to fly her dog to Fiji first class? If you're a business owner, stop paying for your customers' reward points, bonus air miles, and cash back. Robert Rivera is a fellow MGTOW that helps businesses that take credit card payments get rid of those fees you pay to the bank. If you're accepting credit cards, he can save your company $6,000 or more annually on the fees. Watch the tutorial video or visit the Cash is King CC website. The sponsor links are in the description. Anyways, now on with the memes. This week's first one is a story showing the rapid rise of cancers around the world for people under 50. Claire says it isn't exactly clear, but they may actually have something to do with aspects of modern life. Let's not mess around here. I think we all know what's causing this by now. Global warming, of course. At least that's what the wokesers want you to think. Besides the other obvious reason we can't speak about, another reason is obesity. And the fact that during COVID, people put on 30 pounds on average around here. Number two, we have an article claiming that the Cleopatra show was review bombed and that it's dangerous to the future of black representation in entertainments. Cleopatra was Greek and not a sub-Saharan African. It's usually fine when white fictional characters are turned into black ones. But when you start to race swap historic figures, then you've gone too far. The woke virus is going to fail and destroy itself in the end. Yes, this is dangerous because companies will be a lot less likely to change the race of white characters in the future. And so more black actresses will be out of work. Next up, if you want to make a woman's head explode, just tell her that she looks like Lizzo. And Lizzo's being pushed up as the new ideal of beauty, it seems. But the only reason many women say she's beautiful is because they're virtue signaling. But the truth is, they think she's ugly and they're going along with the herd and saying that she is beautiful. Women get mad when you say they look like Lizzo because you're exposing their hypocrisy and also lowering their sexual marketplace value at the same time. Even Tim Pool suggests doing this. Number four, we have spicy star Riley Reed telling you about her relationship with her father. Here goes. I'm not allowed to go visit my dad anymore because my stepmom doesn't like that I do porn. But then he told me that when I was like, can we like go get coffee and like we go like get breakfast? And he's like, I don't want to be seen in public with you. And that just fucking hurt so bad. And it sucks. I lost my family. I don't talk to like my brothers or sisters. I think that they all kind of like try to take advantage of me and stuff or they're just like my dad don't want to be around me. Moving on to number five is a woman saying that we should ban all platforms where women remove their garments for money. And Papa Zulu asked the question, but how would women make money? Easy. Government assistance, alimony, and of course marriage, the greatest racket in history. Banning all those things would make men thirstier and easier to control. The only one I don't understand is why she wants to ban Grinder. Go ahead and ban everything. I have 10 hard drives full to trade with others for the rest of my life. Number six, we have a woman that made it into the newspaper with her horrifying story, where her husband changed all the locks after she had an affair, and she was left pounding the door sick and furious. Meanwhile, this sort of thing happens to men all the time, but where are our articles? For us, it's just a Tuesday. Meanwhile, women like her try to use the lamestream media to shame the man she cheated on. Up next is an article about women wearing an added layer of clothing for safety from the prying eyes of creepy men. I feel so sad for them that they can't have their memories hanging out and using them to try and entice the closest Chad they can to come over and talk to them. They can't have it both ways. If they want male attention, they can't choose which males give them that attention. It seems that dressing modestly is shameful these days, while wearing revealing clothing has been normalized. Moving on, we have another single mom probably paying this New York paper to post her image and tell everyone that her top priority is sex. But what about the child? Shouldn't your child be number one? She's embarrassing herself in the post. But that's okay, because no one even reads it anymore. Number nine, we have a man that spent 29 years in prison for a grape that he didn't commit. And the survivor in quotations helped free him. Look how happy he is. I would be furious that some wench took 30 years of my life with her lies. She probably didn't want people to think that she was promiscuous and easy and regretted being with him in the morning. So therefore she claimed grape. 
Up next, we have statistics showing us that one-third of women have had up to four more smooching partners in their lifetimes before they do get married. At that point, a woman no longer can bond with you deeply for the longer term. Back in the 1970s, virgins before marriage made up 25%. Today, that number is around 5% and still falling. But the number of women that have had 10 or more partners before marriage went up from 2% in the 1970s to almost 20% now. So the virgins and skinks switch spots. Moving on, one of the poster children for this generation, Mia Khalifa, is back at it again on Lonely Farts. She's asking if you would rather play Xbox or her. You know that if you go with her, you're just an only simp. In the immortal words of Jack Sparrow, if you have a sister and a dog, I choose the dog. Most of the comments say Xbox, but given the choice, they would probably still smash. Number 12, we have a black woman speaking, so it's time to listen and learn. With Ebonics these days, you might need an interpreter, though. It's women like her that show us why the passport bro phenomenon has even started. Maybe she'll teach us what to eat so we become obese and diabetic. Maybe she'll teach us how to avoid getting pregnant in high school. I'm going to listen and she can teach me how to twerk and dance like Les Grossman. Next up, we have an update on the Tennessee Cops Gone Wild Megan Hall story. She is said to have a fetish for black men and she would shame them by calling them gay if they kept rejecting her advances. It used to be that girls didn't make the first move. Women also didn't work in the police force either, or sleep with the whole force. She still couldn't take the blame, and it's said that she felt terrorized by all these men. Number 14, if you want to know where Officer Hall got her ideas, she was probably watching a little bit too much Blacked. Once you go black, you never go back. Maybe it's true. Up next is my personal hero for the week. He put his wife in coach while he ended up flying first class. She, of course, had to write in to shame him for his behavior in front of the whole world because she has a hole. If my wife had a flat chest and a unibrow, I'd make her sit in steerage as well. My only concern is that her left hand seems to be leaning a little too far over to the boy next to her. Plus, there's a person with a support animal chicken behind her. LOL. Number 16 is just pearly thing saying that of men who cheat, only 11% cheat multiple times. And she thinks that that can be worked through. Many women do. They would rather deal with the occasional cheater if he's a chad. I've seen it time and time again. But if a woman cheats on you, there's no working through it. As a man, unless you enjoy being a cuck. Moving on is a woman that misses being in lockdown and has nostalgia for it. I guess that she's got Stockholm Syndrome or something like that. She probably screams out in the night, Lock me down harder, daddy. It looks like she loves losing her freedom. Number 18, we have a woman that wishes she could be a working girl without being sexualized. I guess she just wants to make her content without having to hear the Sims messages about how they want to smash her. But what she probably really wants is access to guys' money without providing any customer service, if you know what I mean. I too wish I could be an opera singer without having to sing. Number 19, we have a woman that claims that men shouldn't listen to the manosphere because her husband is a chess nerd and he landed her and she's an eight. Here's what she looks like. Does she not look like an eight to you? Maybe she left out a decimal point and it's actually 0 0.8. Considering her husband is a math whiz, he should have taught her about Dewey Decimals. Next up, we have Skippy Trudeau, and he's going to try a new look on for size. Given the silencing of his free speech by his government, he probably looks like the North Korean leader on the inside. Two more long years until he's finally gone. Number 21, I've generally stopped posting hideous trans women on Twitter, because it's boring. Except for this one, because those lips look bigger than a pouty vag after giving birth. Plus, if this is what $76,000 gets you then you should be asking for a refund. Unfortunately, you know, some simps out there would still smash. Yuck. Moving on, we have a woman that lost her full school scholarship because her university found out about her lonely simps account. She doesn't understand how this could have happened. She's probably posting this to shame the university and get some media attention for her plight. Social media is increasingly turning into a way for women to shame institutions and individuals that challenge their behavior and lifestyle choices. Number 23 should end the wage gap myth once and for all. Notice how women aren't talking about it as much these days. Men are checking out of society, so of course women are earning more. They win by default. They might be rich, but they end up spending all their money in general and have a lot less wealth. Also, maybe they're making money on lonely friends. If that's the case and AI is used as a replacement, will they earn less again? Moving on, we have a woman saying that men are not strong enough to handle the sexual past of a woman they love. Someone responds by saying, you misspelled, I was a semen receptacle, and now no one wants to commit to me. 
way. Sure, men are strong enough to handle that truth. They just aren't strong enough to handle herpes. Men are wising up to women's notch counts, causing permanent emotional and physical damage, and increasingly walking away from them. Number 25 in this week's last one is brought to you by Rap House TV. And it says that Kim Kardashian opens up about the struggles of being a single mother, crying herself to sleep every night. Funny enough, she's the one that left him. And there's probably a team of nannies there to raise her children, all paid for by Kanye West. Women want you to feel sorry for them, even when they're billionaires. But she's probably got plenty of thousand dollar bills to use as tissue paper. So that's it for another Memes of the Week. Remember, I make these for free, so donate if you can at the PayPal and subscribe star links below for more content like this. Also, once again, check out MGTOW TV for content you can't get anywhere else. You're definitely going to enjoy it. Anyways, enjoy the rest of your day, and cheers.